you feel about your new colleagues? Well, I have to give it to them. They helped a lot. And how do you feel about it? Our robot friends are reshaping the flow of goods across Europe and bringing in a new era of industrial efficiency. And maybe more importantly, where does that leave us humans? I'm getting shipped to Europe. about your new colleagues? Well, they are talking a lot sometimes. Over and over, the same thing, but yeah, we get by. Well, I have to give it to them. They helped a lot. They saved us a lot of time and a lot of movement. So they are all right. And how do you feel about it? Interesting. happens in a logistics center where technology takes the lead? How can robots turn a busy workplace into a model of efficiency and precision? And maybe more importantly, where does that leave us humans? We are sending from Portugal to Italy, Germany, everywhere, basically. We're dividing between us and Hungary to occupy the whole Europe. Mm -hmm. What's what's this? <laughs> so. This is a charger for our rich circuit device. Yeah. I know that it's in Chinese, but actually there's basically no interaction between us and <laughs> this. It's not for you. This is no, like no. a jar for the robots. They can put a pallet seven meters high with one or two <laughs> centimeters of clearance. We need 5G for that to give us the extra bump in safety and precision. Come on, just right here. It's inspiring to see such happy robots in your <laughs> natural environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really like it. They can manage for several hours. I cannot that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting shipped to Europe. Also, this is an overview of... Of the both maps of the HVs. <laughs> This really looks like a minesweeper, and this looks like a circuit board. This map is actually a multi-layer map because, of course, our racks also have several layers. You see the HVs are working, and they are going to put away some pallets. So what does that low latency let you do that you couldn't do before? They have no loss of connection because sometimes while you're working in between the racks, all that metal can interfere with Wi-Fi. And with 5G, there is no loss of connection. So how do they help the human workers here? It's really hard doing the same every day, hour and hour and hour. That's why the robots are helping us so much. Taking this kind of task from human hands, they are always efficient, they are always precise, and they don't mess up as we humans do. Okay. It's interesting how all of these technologies and working with robots ends up making the workplace more humane. Our robot friends are reshaping the flow of goods across Europe and bringing in a new era of industrial efficiency. I've heard so much about how technology is changing industries and work, but it can be hard to imagine what that actually means on a practical level for everyone from customers to business owners to people with really physically demanding jobs. The interesting thing is that working alongside technology somehow lets us be more human. Where do we draw the line though? Only the future can tell.